Welcome to this episode of the Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy, thoughtful, optimistic Thursday. Today is October 17th. Hello, I'm Arlo. And hello, I'm Adam. So is Sycamore Junior High. Be safe. Be responsible. Be respectful. And be a problem solver. Thank you for doing the right thing and making good choices. Now it's time where we all stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. You all are thoughtful individuals. Keep being thoughtful, optimistic you, and making this a great place to work and learn. Be responsible and remember to check your emails, people. Know the important emails and delete the old ones. Today's tip from our counselors, keep up with your homework. Balancing assignments can sometimes feel overwhelming, but with a few strategies and tips, students can ma manage their workload more effectively and reduce stress. Here's how. Today's tip is minimize distractions. Find a quiet, dedicated space for homework can improve concentration. Turn off your phone notifications and limit social media use during study time. A focused environment can lead to more productive and efficient work homework sessions. Thanks, counselors, for another great homework. Now over to our other crew for more announcements. Hey, hey Sycamore Junior, Junior, Junior High. High. Casey here. And Bob here with some additional clubs and activities and special announcements. Power of the pen. Due to not having school on Monday, we will be having a practice for everyone, competition and non-competition team, this Friday from 3.20 to 4.20 in Miss Huff's room, room 2212. Be sure to have your prompt completed and ready to share. If you need another one, come see Miss Huff in room 2212. Also, the competition team members will be announced that day. Morning intramurals. Friday is morning intramurals. Plan on coming to the auxiliary gym Friday morning between 7.13 and 7.30 a.m. Enter door 19 and all are welcome. Skiing slash snowboarding club. All students interested in joining the club, please plan on attending a mandatory meeting this Friday, October 18th in the Ox Gym during Flexbell. Let your, let your Flexbell teacher know you will be attending the day before. You will be given a packet of information that you can use as your pass for the following day. All 7th and 8th grade boys interested in playing basketball should attend a meeting in the auxiliary gym on Wednesday, October 23rd during flex. All 7th and 8th grade boys and girls, tennis players, even those who do not play on the school team, should be planning on attending a meeting in the auxiliary gym with Coach Teets. The meeting will be on Thursday, October 24th during flex. You all look great in your blue and yellow supporting our Down Syndrome friends. Over to Miss Molly Blaker and the Down Syndrome Association to inform us on how we can support our Sycamore family. So, what is Down Syndrome? The first thing I want you to know is that Down Syndrome is not a disease or an illness. It's not something you can catch like COVID or the flu, it's just something you're born with it. As I'm sure you've learned in science, everyone is made up of millions of tiny cells. Each cell has 23 pairs of chromosomes. People with Down syndrome have an extra chromosome on the 21st pair. Chromosomes make you who you are. They determine your eye color, skin tone, hair color, height, and more. Just like we know that if we have two people who both have brown hair, they're different in many ways. Likewise, two people that both have Down syndrome are different in many ways. All people with Down syndrome are different from each other. This is one of my favorite quotes. A true friend accepts who you are, but also helps you become who you are meant to be. I think this is what we all want in friendships. We want to be accepted, yet encouraged to grow. As I go through the next slide, I want you to keep this in mind. I'm going to go over some things you can do with classmates who have Down syndrome. Most of these things you will probably think are things you would do with any of your friends. You're right. 
Find common interest. Ask about your friend's likes or dislikes. Have conversations. If you find out there's something you're both into, invite your friend to activities or clubs. I'd also like to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and join others rather than them always joining you. Be yourself, be genuine. I'm not asking you to change who you are, but we can all connect in a way that feels right to each of us. Be patient. Allow for time to process and communication. Allow time for individuals to feel comfortable in new settings or with new people. Recognize boundaries. Pay attention to and respect all forms of communication, speech, body language, or facial expressions. Share your boundaries. It's okay to say you don't want to be touched or hugged. Encourage appropriate behavior. The best way you can do this is to model what needs to be done. Don't encourage poor choices. Don't laugh at, stare at, or imitate challenging moments. Teach correct ways. Forgive mistakes. Don't dwell on things that go wrong. Don't gossip, just move on. I think if you do these things, you will be the friend we all hope to have. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much, Ms. Blaker. We love our Sycamore family. Now we're doing a very special announcement with our wonderful Robert and Ms. Hubbard. Hi guys, Robert here, and I'm here with our special rock star, Ms. Hubbard. She has some important news to share with us today. So what's the news, Ms. Hubbard? Thank you, Robert. Good morning, Sycamore family. Uh, it brings me great joy to share my news about my third battle with breast cancer stage four. Uh, I had a PET scan on Tuesday, that one of the days that you were off, and um, then I went to see my oncologist yesterday, Wednesday, and um, she uh, was kind of, I don't know, her demeanor was a little bit like down. So she said, have you seen your PET scan? And I said, no, they haven't, they haven't sent it to me in Christ. And she had read it to me. And all the tumors in my breast, my liver, my lungs, and my spine have shrunk significantly. And I love the way that adverb significantly, she was in amazement and she cried and she hugged me. And I'm here today because you guys have played a great part in my therapy for just battling cancer. Um, I love coming to work here every day, now just two or three times a week. You guys have hugged me and supported me and prayed for me and great thoughts and, and sent me things and cards and you are my family. Um, I love you guys, and just keep doing what you're doing. Um, and go Aves! <laughs> come on, come on! Great, great, great. You all right? It is emotional. <laughs> Now, back to our crew. Thanks, Ms. Hubbard and Robert. That was truly amazing news. Now, now back, back to, to our crew. crew. Thanks, crew. Character Awards. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez here to do this week's Character Awards. Um, but before we do that, we, we don't have any more Athletes of the Week um, because fall season is over. Uh, winter season is kicking up soon. I know, girls, you have already started open gyms. Boys, your season starts a little bit later. So uh, make sure that you are signed up in final forms. You should have gotten an email. I believe one came in just a couple of days ago talking about your tryouts and open gyms, which are coming up. But, uh, boy, we had a really good week last week. Mm -hmm. um, last year, uh, we, we made a big deal uh, in the fall with you guys about how 
we earned more GMC trophies here at Sycamore Junior High than any other school in the league. Impressive. And uh, it, was, it was the most that we had ever had as a school. Uh, these students earned five GMC trophies last year. Well, they earned five GMC trophies just this fall. Wow. So uh, it's just amazing. So want to give some shout-outs today. Girls Golf, uh, they won the GMC last week. Uh, Savannah Blackmore, she was three under par. She was the overall medalist. She was unbelievable, is doing some things that uh, we don't typically see at the junior high um, age. Level. Yep. Yeah, at the level. Um, so fantastic for the girls' golf team. Seventh um, and eighth grade girls cross country, they both won uh, the GMC uh, last week as well. So now we're up to three uh, GMC trophies from last week. Uh, we had a few uh, winners uh, of their uh, particular race. Caitlin Daring, Ariana Hurst, and Andrew Poor. And I, I, I've, I've heard that name before. I've kind of <laughs> kind of losing count here. I don't know if that was his eighth straight meet or his seventh. I feel like it's his eighth. I think he won wow. eight straight meets this year. And uh, AP, if you see me in the hall and it's seven, uh, you can correct me, but I'm pretty sure it is eight. Um, and then we had an awesome night uh, over in Hamilton last week with the seventh and eighth grade girls volleyball. Both yeah. teams won as well. So um, we swept volleyball this season. So five GMC trophies in just the fall. That is um, that's, that's amazing. And then uh, lastly, we want to congratulate um, the seventh grade football team. They went over to Oak Hills last week and they had a tremendous win uh, to end their season. So it's a great fall season. Hopefully, uh, if you're thinking about getting involved in sports, please do. We've got a lot going on this winter. Uh, we've got basketball, we've got swimming and diving, we've got wrestling, we've got cheer, we've got dance. So it um, should be a great winter. Lots of options. Yeah, lots of options. That's great. So with that being said, let's talk about some great kids. Absolutely. And uh, again, these are the character awards. These are awards that are um, about you, and uh, they are nominated by students like you. Uh, we, we don't pick these students. Actually, students pick these students. And Yeah, we got to visit uh, Mrs. Darbyshire's Flex Bell last week. And uh, I'll start us off, if that's sure. all right. Uh, this uh, character card winner is Asher Pollock. Asher, congratulations. You have had an impact on someone in Mrs. Darbyshire's uh, flex bell. Uh, we don't know who it is, but maybe you can recognize based off what they said. It says, Asher is always working hard in school and in football. Asher is a very kind, and I have never heard him say anything mean about anyone. He brightens my day every day in practice, and is just overall a great person. So, Asher, uh, maybe you can figure out who that is, but... If you can't, still appreciate your efforts, appreciate what you've done in uh, the classroom and on the field. Uh, so good job. Yeah, uh, we love when our, our athletes are, you know, there's so much more than just being a great athlete. Uh, there's so much uh, with, with the character that's involved. So um, it's awesome to have that with Asher. Uh, the other uh, uh, one that we selected this week, so we typically get between um, 25 and 50 of these a week. and. Uh, we sit down and then we select two that kind of stick out to us. So this one is, is really, really short. And I think the one that I picked last week was really, really short. And we don't particularly choose long or short, but it's just kind of to show you that, hey, small things can have a big impact. And this week's selection um, was Ellie Valsing. And it says, she noticed someone sitting alone at lunch and invited them over to our table. So I thought that was awesome. Yeah, nice. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Um, we know that that's um, something that's not always easy to do, to cross that line and recognize that somebody else um, is, is eating alone and, sure. and to invite them uh, into your group of friends and uh, send a message that, you know, look, we're all in this together and, right. and we don't really want any of our students eating alone. So right. uh, if you happen to see somebody at a table sitting alone, um, definitely consider inviting them over. If they say, I'm not really interested, then you know, just walk away. Then and, that's all right too. Yeah, yeah. that's no problem. So uh, at least you, you made an effort and um, 
I guess what we really hope is that um, you make a new friend. For yep, sure. Absolutely. So uh, let's remind them what 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 are they going to get? Yeah, for being they, uh, this week for being our character card winners, uh, you will enjoy a free one large two topping pizza from Papa John's, and uh, we'll be bringing to uh, we'll bring that uh, certificate to you uh, to you to your flex ball. So congratulations, Asher and Al. And this Thursday, and this is probably coming out on Thursday. We were filming this on Wednesday. We are going to Pharaoh and George. Miss Farrah and Miss George. That's where we're going this week, and uh, each week we, we go to classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Great work, students, and those are some wonderful acts of kindness. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to... Students celebrating today. today. Jordan C. Happy birthday. Hope you all have a great time celebrating your special day. Next! Next. Joke, Joke of the, of the day. day! Why was the Scarecrow awarded a medal? What? Why? Because he was outstanding in his field! Ha 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 Now that's funny! Well that's all we have for today! Enjoy your day! Make positive PBIS choices. Open your mind to new learning. Meet new friends. And... Go, go away! away!